Hey, welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. You know, I've got a lot of requests to weld magnesium, or at least show how to weld magnesium. And before we ever get started on this magnesium, I need to identify a few of the safety features. One is, it's pyrophoric. You know, and what that means is that there are certain types of welding, not TIG welding, but certain types of welding or flames that'll actually catch this material on fire. Now we're going to be using the TIG welding process using an inert gas of argon and we don't have any fear of starting a fire. So we'll show you the right procedures how to get started. Now this particular casting is a sand casting and you can see it's kind of a dingy gray in color. It, it has a crack in it. There's one little ear down here that's got a crack and we'll give you a close up of it. But we've got, we've got this oxide layer on here, this magnesium oxide. So we're going to take a little ball router like this, and we're going to get rid of the oxide. We're going to groove this thing out, and then we're going to TIG weld it, just like we would weld aluminum. Uh, we're going to be using AC, and probably about 125 amps. Uh, we're going to weld from one side, turn it over, weld from the other. And again, it's all going to be grooved out, get rid of the oxides. And so you look at this and you say, well, gosh, this is magnesium. Uh, what do I use for filler material? Well, there's, there's several different types of magnesium, but one that's a pretty good all-purpose is called an AZ-92A. And I'm going to show that to you here, but uh, I also want to show you that the, the filler material oxides absolutely horribly. So I actually took one of these fillers and took a little bit of emery cloth it doesn't take much, but you got to clean off the oxide, and it'll do it fairly quickly. Okay, so just, just clean up your rod, and you'll get it shiny very quickly. And then what I do is I take acetone, and I, I wipe it clean. So it'll, uh, it'll weld pretty decent. Now, when we get ready to weld this, you're going to find that this material doesn't weld extremely clean. It's not exactly like welding aluminum, but it is alternating current. You do get a little bit of cleaning action in all of this. The melting temperature of this material is actually a little bit lower than aluminum. It'll start melting at about 830 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. So just keep that in mind. I um, also want you to know that this AZ-92 filler material is actually very good all-purpose filler material, but it runs about $100, $120 a pound. If you need a half a pound instead of trying to buy one or five pounds, which is the minimum of most places. We have a link below where you can get it in half pound increments. Now it's gonna go a long ways, and just keep in mind that magnesium is lighter than aluminum, so uh, it's gonna fill very nicely, it's gonna grind very nicely, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up right now, get all my safety gear in place, and grind off the oxides, groove it out, and uh, go through the whole procedure with you. Okay, you can see it's pretty dirty material, not real stable. As I add the filler, you can see it kind of tries to stabilize. A little green in color. I'm going to reposition. Okay, reinitiate the arc. Again, really dirty material. Sand casting is just kind of what you can expect. But I got a puddle, and I'd like to say it wells like aluminum, but it really doesn't. Alternating current, 
it does puddle up a little bit. And you can see all kinds of contaminants coming out of it. But you know, overall, it's it's trying to weld. The door I'm using is about an eighth of an inch diameter, so it, it kind of seems like a telephone pole, but this magnesium sucks it in pretty quick. Yeah, you get to the edge of the casting like this, and it's really dirty, so I just add filler and kind of taper out. Okay, now that we finished welding, I did a wire brush on here, and I'm checking to see if I had any distortion. Yeah, so I'm, I'm checking this flat surface to see if it's still flat, and, and it really is. Now, before this goes into service, they're probably going to take a little draw file, and uh, this stuff is so soft, you can draw file it and bring it into tolerance. Now, one of the things that I did, you probably noticed, I welded inside first, and then I welded outside. Whenever you can weld from both sides, it helps in distortion. So uh, try that technique. It welded up pretty nicely. Uh, you know, a little bit of silicon in there from being a sand casting, but uh, other than that, it welded very good. So uh, th that's it for magnesium. Uh, don't be afraid of it. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.